opportunity to welcome Manoj Paul, who also happens to be my colleague and happens to come with the 30 years of experience in the industry of creative design. So Manoj, welcome to the event. Thank Thanks you for your time this morning. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. So what's your take on data artistry, Manoj? Data artistry, uh, we all know that, uh, <coughs> you know, uh, data visualization is the art of uh, storytelling. And how do you do that in a very beautiful way is by having that element of design that comes into the uh, entire uh, storytelling format. And artistry is the piece that really defines how beautifully you bring in all that, you know, my dreams of data that it's there in the back end. How do you bring it to the general population and how, how do you make it comprehensible for the uh, common man to understand what, what, what story are they trying to tell? Perfect, yeah. So I'm sure many of the viewers would now like to understand from a creative design world, when you are starting on a new project, like what are the things that you typically do from your creative world? For any project that comes in, uh, the first most important thing is to understand the scope of the project and, uh, you know, the uh, what is the challenge that the project is trying to address. And <clears throat> it doesn't change even when it comes to data visualization. You know, you need to ad understand uh, what is the uh, problem that the uh, it's trying to address. So we try to understand that from a client's perspective. What are the challenges they face? And then uh, we get a complete uh, download of all the uh, uh, creative briefs that goes and uh, helps us in actually building the uh, entire uh, design for us. And once we have all the inputs that are necessary, and then we go to the drawing board and we start, a, we have a brainstorming session, which helps us to come up with some concepts. And of course, it's always backed with a lot of research and understanding what the other competitors are doing and uh, what are the new trends in the market and what people like, what people don't like. And we try, we gather all this data and then try to understand uh, what best works as a solution for this problem that the client is facing. So we mock up a few uh, solutions as creative concepts and then we show it to the client. And then uh, once the client is happy with one of the uh, concepts, then we get we start work on the uh, project itself. Fantastic, fantastic. I'm sure many of the viewers would not have the uh, luxury of having a deeply experienced and a talented resource like you. And essentially what I mean to say by that is, uh, not everybody would have access to such creative design teams. So in the absence of which, how do you, how do you, and what do you think that other teams who don't have creative designers with them, but they still want to bring out the story behind the data. So how do you, suggest like how they and where they start off? I think the first most important thing is to understand the problem and uh, <clears throat> keep your solution as simple as possible because as far as data is concerned even simple is complex and uh, don't go overboard trying to please the client or you know bringing in uh, what you get inspired by looking at other uh, you know uh, stuff that you see outside. What's more important is uh, you need to be focused on uh, how do you address the problem. That's very important. And, uh, you know, work slowly from the uh, base, find out what the problem is, and then look at what kind of a solution will work for it. And uh, that's when uh, there are two things that you can do. One is if you are a designer, you can sit and get your hands dirty yeah. or you hire a designer because end of the day, you're trying to do something that works for a client. And it's always a good investment to bring in someone who's an expert. If you can't do it, you get someone to do it. And that's the most effective way of uh, getting the work done in the right way. And I'm sure, you know, end of the day, the client will be very pleased to look at the end results. Absolutely. So the message you're saying is start lean, start simple, yeah. try and see how the design is going to make a difference to the overall visualization and does it help us build the story. Story, yeah. And if there is needs for us to kind of on a design canvas, if we were to bring, uh, this is, I'm leading to my next question, on a typical design canvas when we are looking at data artistry, what is the significance of the color and the elements that we choose to use in order to represent the story? That's always a challenge because uh, 
most of the uh, clients have brand guidelines and uh, it's very important that you stick to the brand guidelines at the same time look for opportunities where you can you know bend the rule but not break it and it has to be done in a very uh, subtle way and uh, it requires a lot of uh, trial and error and uh, you need to be very careful when you're using a color palette because uh, color is a psychological element and people associate colors with uh, certain uh, graphic elements moods and uh, you know uh, shapes so it's very important whatever visualization you're doing you use the right colors because sometimes uh, even if your visualization is complex sometimes colors can bring in that clarity yeah. in the entire uh, dashboard or whatever design that you're working in so it's a fine balance between uh, you know design thinking and judgment so uh, that's very important when you absolutely work. i agree with you right you know in the past years of experience that i have in this space i've often seen where the programmers or the or the design teams when they are not talking to one another yeah. right so they essentially try and look at it from a two different silos and essentially you know what really comes out is two different versions of the visualization now you are at the crossroads to see yeah. where you know which one should i take and what should i do with it there are cases i have seen where <clears throat> There's too much uh, charts or graphs, essentially trying to say the exact same thing. So I go back to your earlier point: keep it lean and keep it simple, and that seems to have always done the trick for for some of the customers that we have actually had the opportunity to serve with their requests. Now, my last question is: um, where do you see this field going from now yeah. into the future? What we are seeing right now is a transitional phase, and uh, as you already know, you know. it's a very thin line that divides between te- technology and design mm-hmm. and we have already see- we are seeing in the software and the web domain uh, what we see as full stack uh, skills that are coming up where people are equipped end to end you know right from design to you know doing the front end engineering as well as the back end coding so people uh, most of the skills uh, skill sets that are coming up are all full stack and there's a huge demand for them and the same thing is happening with data visualization to what we call as information designers so these are designers who are rightly equipped with the right technology skills as well as the design skills so they they have the all the uh, you know the weapons to address the challenges that we are facing uh, in terms of design the workflow as well as the technology uh, that runs the entire uh, visualization so i think uh, that's what we are seeing you know uh, a merging uh, horizon is what we are looking at right now in terms of skill sets and going forward we we will be seeing a lot of designers who will cross over into the technology domain as well as a lot of technologies you crossing, know yeah. crossing over to the uh, design domain so it's going to be a blended uh, execution uh, from now on and uh, it makes sense simply because uh, the challenge always has been between design and development is you know how do you marry that i candy into the uh, technology and uh, when it's the same person who's working on both the aspects you know the ability to take uh, decisions is much more faster and more efficient because he understands the limitations of technology as well as the beauty of the design that can Absolutely. be married into it and i i don't think i would have i could have agreed more than what you said and complete agreement with what you said that's a very good perspective so with that uh, i would like to thank manoj for his views and thank you very much for your time this morning thank you so thank much vishwas thank you so with that viewers uh, we would like to bring this session to a closure uh, best of luck for all the work that you're going to do we look forward to hearing from you